And in other news, the Union for International Cancer Control founded World Cancer Day in 2008 to support the goals of the World Cancer Declaration written in 2008. While in Abuja, hundreds of cancer awareness ambassadors, including survivors, thronged major streets in the federal capital territory Abuja to sensitize the public on the need for regular health check and early detection and treatment of cancer on the 10th anniversary of the day. The World Cancer Day comes with a prelude such as this. To make the advocacy even better, success stories from the other of the day as cancer survivors join in the advocacy. Please go and get tested. Don't think you're too young. I was 29 when I had my test, right? I was 29. I had no pains. I had no sign. Please, 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 you're not too young. You keep hearing about even children. You find a baby with cancer. It's really, really that bad. So I know some people say it has to do with lifestyle. Sometimes it's just also your genetic disposition. If you know you have people in your family that have that have had history of cancer, please, please, please take it very seriously. The organizers say it is a project worth doing, considering the poor attention given to the menace in this part of the world, which they say is the leading cause of death. When people take proactive steps about their health, they can actually detect cancer early. Because the greatest challenge we have today is late detection of cancer. Cancer is detected at a very late stage. And for that reason, most people die of cancer in this country. And the only way we can get this is to engage people more. Engage more, engage the government as well to provide facilities, to provide especially treatment facilities. All the participants at the advocacy also testify that early detection and awareness is key to fighting the deadly disease. Well, what we are trying to um, ask the Nigerian government to do is to create cancer centers and like the HMOs, the Shiva and Comfort Cancer, used to be go a long way because most of the patients can't afford the treatment, which makes, me, makes it difficult to even raise money. You know? So if the government can make cancer a priority in their health um, dealings, it will help a lot of cancer patients survive because some people are addicted early, but because of there's no money, they die and there's no treatment. It takes their life. But if you find out those that get it early and they start treatment, with, with the little money they have, they go a long way. Other stakeholders urge Nigerians to lend a helping hand to those battling with cancer. When it comes to charitable events, causes, uh, where it impacts the community positively, creates awareness to help the community at large, we are always there. You can always count on the American community in Abuja, specifically, to be seriously active and support. Uh, we do our widow's might financially, making noise, coming up with our bikes, with our uniforms, with our jackets, our, you can see what I'm wearing now, flashy helmets, just to be attractive, they will get in, interested. They'll ask, what is this, what, why are you here? And they will not talk about the cause we are trying to support and push. And, uh, and that's how we've been doing it for years now. Cancer awareness advocacy is the core essence of the World Cancer Day, commemorated every 4th of February. Its significance cannot be overemphasized, as it made number one on Twitter trend all over the world. Adeshawa, Odushaga TV360 Nigeria.